A friend of mine sent me an amazing tourism video from the late 90s promoting the city of Blacktown as the single best day trip out of Sydney. Now, I was a bit skeptical of that claim, so I'm here in the city of Blacktown for a little bit of investigative journalism. And just for what it's worth, I've also linked to the video so that you can see the original in its full unadulterated glory. The perfect start to the best day trip out of Sydney. Just 35 minutes from the heart of Sydney and with the beautiful Blue Mountains as a backdrop, you'll find the most surprising place, the city of Blacktown. Eastern Creek International Raceway is the home of high adrenaline racing on two and four wheels. So I'm hoping you can hear the engines behind me, but we're here in Sydney Motorsport Park where they've got some sort of V8 racing event on. Fortunately, it is a ticketed event and I don't have all day to come and sit and watch the cars as cool as that would be. Just down the road from Eastern Creek, you'll find Australia's Wonderland, the largest theme park in the Southern Hemisphere and one of Sydney's premier entertainment and tourist destinations. Set on more than 200 hectares and the winner of numerous awards for excellence in tourism, Australia's Wonderland is a spectacular world-class venue for visitors of all ages. Wonderland features some of the world's fastest and most technologically advanced rides, including the $10 million Space Probe 7, the highest, fastest, most terrifying thrilling ride of its kind in the world. Or if you prefer, why not try something more down-to-earth, like the explosion of water and sun at the beach, or the fun and colour of Hanna-Barbera land for the young and young at heart. And once you've tried the rides, why not meet some of the unique, beautiful and sometimes dangerous creatures of the sky? Whether you prefer to stroll through the Australian bush or picnic by the water, Narragingi Reserve and Prospect Reservoir provide the ideal locations for just relaxing in the sun and enjoying the Australian way of life. So this is Narragingi Reserve in Doonside. It's actually quite a large park with lots of different sections, but I think the star of the show are these Chinese gardens. So here's Prospect Reservoir. It's a giant puddle of drinking water owned by Sydney Water. Each year, this young, vibrant community blossoms for the Blacktown City Festival a celebration of the city's strong community spirit and diverse cultural heritage. As the venue for the Sydney 2000 Olympic softball competition and home to the state operations of Soccer New South Wales and the New South Wales Softball Association, Blacktown's position as a national sporting and recreation centre has been secured. This is the Blacktown International Sports Park where they actually held a few of the Olympics events back in 2000. It was probably a little bit more exciting, you know, in 1998 when the original video was done. But now it's just a bunch of sports fields, which is alright, but, you know.
They also have ducks. But if sport is not your game, and it's a bargain you're looking for, then Park Lee Markets is an absolute must. So as you can see, this is Park Lee Markets. I've actually never been here before, so I'll go in now. Or if you prefer something with a little less hustle and bustle, Featherdale Wildlife Park may be more to your liking. This is Featherdale Wildlife Park, which is actually my favourite place in Sydney to see Australian animals. They've got, you know, kangaroos, wallabies, all kinds of things. And the best part about it is that there's a lot of things that are just walking around that you can pat and you can feed. Uh, so, one of my favourite places is people come to come overseas to so go check it out. In the heart of the city centre, you will find the Blacktown Workers Club is always a hive of activity. And just a few minutes from the city centre, you'll find the Country Comfort Rooty Hill Resort. Adjoining the resort is the famous Rooty Hill RSL and Entertainment Complex. Blacktown City really will surprise you. So those are the things in the old video, but there's actually a few things outside of that video, maybe they didn't exist, maybe they didn't care about them at the time, that I think are also worth a visit. By the way, behind me, really cool Sikh temple in Glenwood, suburb of Blacktown. And here's Sydney Zoo, the new zoo that's opened up around the Blacktown area, around the Western Sydney parklands. I was here a couple of weeks ago and it's not quite as good as Taronga, but it goes okay. We've also got Raging Waters, which is really Sydney's only theme park. Unfortunately, today it is closed for the winter and, you know, the apocalypse, so We'll just be from outside today. You've also got the drive-in cinema here, which is pretty cool. I mean, it is closed at the moment because it's daytime, so I haven't been planning this very good, but there is a bonus horse we can check out. And of course, we have the most important attraction in all of Rudy Hill. Rudy Hill. Got those Windows XP vibes going here. And because this is Rudy Hill, there are obviously tire marks all the way up the hill where people have taken some joy rides. And there's a car up the top at the moment as well. The view from up the top is really western Sydney. There's just sort of houses, trees, not too much else, but it's all right. You got the Blue Mountains on the horizon, which is quite nice. You can see in the distance here all these houses with black roofs. So all the new developments in Sydney always have black roofs for some reason, which is amazing in the western Sydney sun. So it's not 1998 anymore. What's the verdict? Is Blacktown actually the best day trip out of Sydney? Well, no. But it does actually have a few things worthwhile, making it an okay day trip. You know, Narragindji Reserve is fantastic. I love Featherdale. And you've got a few other stops here and there that say, yes, it is an all right day trip. No, it's not the best out of Sydney. For more information on how to enjoy the sights and sounds of Blacktown City, contact your hotel concierge.